Blessed day, my viewers and my subscribers. Before me jump into the topics, may I beg enough to hit that thumbs up button. It will be greatly appreciated. Now the topics that I want to talk about in this video. Beanie Man pleads not guilty. Spotlight address Fantan Moja apologizing. JCF bash over 8 o'clock curfew in Jamaica. Skilly Beng bash over the silhouette music video. And Jamil talks about Tommy Lee Sparta and also if he is still a part of the MVP. Now people, the first thing I want to talk about is Skilly Beng being bashed over the silhouette challenge official video now i'm not telling lies telling her people skilly bang is definitely a creative youth and woman notice one of the things the woman noticed about him anything that is trending him try to incorporate it in a music video in a lyrics just like all the other day when the plane crash when i realize him go down a rocky pine go shoot a music video you understand of course you know so some people never really agree with it and just like this video yeah man, they might call him out once again. Some people feel like they might overdo it. And basically because of the things them with the girls they might do in this video, a lot of females can be seen. You know, it's like they might lick on them one another. A lot of lazish type of behavior, you understand? And you know, I'm going to that word because I don't really want to use it on YouTube. But yeah man, people, you know, say in Jamaica, when time two women do certain things, you got to have a set of people who are born of fire. You understand what I say? And some of the comments them, like I see them put up two comments on a website where somebody say yo them girl a father must be proud of them after watching this just imagine you as a father see your daughter in a this video now and she'll lick on the next female and all them things that oh you da feel and me even see a next person left a comment saying a moment of silence for all the fathers that saw their daughters in the video now of course you know what them say right because trust me some of them father here when them realize that them daughter are involved in a certain things and them do certain low acts you don't know say trouble did they so you know them a call out skilly bang and tell him say yo once again him not set no good example and this and that but at the end of the day still a them thing are the people they want to see you know whether we don't like it or not them are the thing we go give my whole heap of views a whole heap of subscribers and all them things you get what me i say people i remember me telling you this in you know, a check back panda video in a one week time don't be surprised if you see it pass a million views and even though it's not really an official um song you don't know same those are cyclical things over the over the beat you understand what me i say um, yeah, but if you don't watch the video, let me know when you think about it. And if you as a father go so bops and see your daughter in a this video, how you react to it, you see me? Let me know exactly what you would do in the comment section. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the great Beanie Man basically pleading not guilty, you understand? And I just have to reach with the article quick and fast and then we can talk about it a little bit, you see me? So it says, Beanie Man pleads not guilty to DRMA charges stemming from illegal show. Beanie Man pled not guilty to breaching the Disaster Risk Management and Noise Abatement Act. Beanie Man appeared in court February the 10th to see about his recent charges for violating the laws put in place to mitigate the spread of the C-19. The dancehall star was allegedly charged after hosting an illegal event in St. Elizabeth in late November. Moses Davis, as he is known by the law, appeared in court for his hearing on Tuesday where he pleaded not guilty to breaching the disaster the Risk Management and Nice Abatement Act. According to his attorney, Roderick Garden, Beanie Man is slated to appear in court again for a trial on April the 19th. Police reportedly noted that Beanie Man was promoting a New Year's Eve event in Shrewsbury District in St. Elizabeth Parish on social media around the time the government has imposed a stricter curfew and island-wide lockdown policy. The DJ was served with the summons on December the 31st, 2020 after police say he was warned and he later reported to the Black River Police Station where he was processed and charged. The summons was served on him yesterday, Thursday, and he was processed, said Deputy Superintendent Narda Sims, head of the St. Elizabeth Police Division, in a statement to the Gleaner at the beginning of January. He was charged under the Disaster Risk Management Act and the Noise Abatement Act for an event held on November the 29th at which he was warned by the police for prosecution. Sources said that on the night of the prohibited party, Police were summoned to the site of the illegal happenings when the crowd dispersed upon their arrival. Though law enforcement tried to discourage the event from happening, Beanie Man influence still clearly reigns supreme. Now that the Grammy Award winning DJ is entering his trial with a not guilty plea, do you think his legal counsel can help him to beat this case? So yes, people, when you think, when you think this is going to turn out for Beanie Man, and honestly, this is not a case where being a man I go got a prisoner or nothing like that, you understand? It's just that him I forgot does probably pay a fine. I'm pretty sure of that.
although I am not a lawyer, but I don't think of nothing where, you know, we're going to see man a guy a prisoner or nothing like that. No, people. So at the end of the day still, you know, the government put certain things in play, and if you try to go against it and you get catch, I just, you just have to pay the consequences, you see me? And I'm not saying that is the case with Beanie Man, because obviously most plea not guilty for a reason. You know, him couldn't just uh, try waste money and go to court every minute or whatever, waste time and resources. So what for those watch and see all this play out, people? But leave in the comments and let me know when you think about this in the comment section. And now I want to talk about Phantom Moja and the whole motor thing once again, people. Yes, because I talked about it the other day. But basically, you know, say Phantom Moja did a command a lot of backlash basically over the video. And him said some things about Juna Gang Mother. Well, him call her name. And him also called Bob name and thing, you see me? Well, if a people never like that. But you don't know, same kind of explain. Him basically make a video apologize. But before me show no, we spotlight after react to that video and say, you know, say some of the females them in the dance hall industry actually are side with Phantom Moja because them say, yo, from a woman him a sing for, you know, them definitely are endorse that. And two of the female artists them is D Angel and Pampute. So them the inner one care and them a talk about it and them a say, yeah man, a font and them a work with and this and that people. I'm going to run a quick clip before me get to the real meat of the matter. You see my people? So listen this. You are your cocky stuff, you are free too. Me back font and moja, anything with woman and font and do your blood clotting. Me back font and see me over your son. Ladies back front and 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 ladies back front because I end of the day, the man I sing to woman and <laughs> man I know still, maybe because I am not a Rasta, why I view it that way. You understand me? I said the woman name does a dance and thing. We don't see no girl, a kiss no girl, we don't see nothing like that in the video, you see me? The man does surrounded by a bag of woman. I know him kinda of spank must be one of them are maybe more than one pan But anyway, as I say people, him go so bops and apologize and thing. Now this is what Spotlight reacted to it and say people, you see it? So check this out. Beat a man and give him rights. You with me? I know you're with me. Fontan Moja, big up yourself. You came and you apologized to the Empress. It proved you have a heart. It proved you're smart. Because that's how king should represent themselves and them nation. Not to me not say you do that. Me not say you do a great job. Because you still didn't apologize to Bob Marley. May his soul rest in peace. But his name always here with us. And we cannot deny the fact say, that him set it for our music, our culture. So Phantom Moja, big up yourself. And I feel good. I'm delightful to know you apologize to the Empress. It show that you're a man. Shine bright. Yeah man, so you don't know the spotlight did come out the other day and him did a bonafire upon Phantom Moja. But at least him kinda ease up. You know, him say yo, him apologize to Cindy, but him not apologize to Bob. But of course you know so as me say Phantom does it up in him feelings why him say certain things. Sometimes when you're acting up people, you know think before you talk and you know, you know until you're vexed and you don't say anything will come to your mind. And then sometimes you all forget say somebody I record you. But at least Fantan do the right thing, which is come and apologize to her. And on a know say Juna Gang mother that, you know, I don't know if Juna Gang actually come out and say anything. I don't feel like him come out and say nothing. But I don't know people, you see me? Um, Juna Gang would have feel awake if I did my mother, I hear her name, I call up on some loose thing. I definitely would have actually, maybe I would all come out and make a video about it. I don't know people. But leave in the comments and make me know who not rock with Fantan Moja, because I'm not taking back the video, you know, people. The man do a video and it's going good on YouTube. And all of this is like free promotion for him, so 
you don't know say my boss in the whole um, publicity and all of them things. You see me? But leave in the comments and make me know when you think about this. And now I want to talk about JCF people, the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Now basically, they put up a video on them Instagram page and the people go hard against them. And basically, it was a video where I guess they did arrest a man for them on the road at a certain time. Because you know the new um, time hours where you can dip on the road. Well, you can dip on the road from 8 p.m to 5 a.m. You understand? And I think at the 24th, they're going to lift that restriction and it might go back to the regular time. And of course, you know, said this. Some people say it now go help, but the government feel like this is going to kind of help with the C19 and thing. But anyway, I'm going to show you the video where them post and then I'm going to ask you how you feel about it. There's my people. So check this out. <laughs> Alright, so I feel like I said them should I give the man a chance because that is something when we see a lot of persons that say, you know, and them are burn out the government. Well, not the government, they are burn out the JCF, but of course, they know say the government put it in place. So it's like you are burn out the government as well. Now, to be honest, I understand where a lot of persons are say, and even if that was me, of course, my daddy, they are beg for a chance and thing. You understand, but I don't know still, I can't come out here and bash the police for do them job because at the end of the day, the government come and put a time in play and the man them does a act how they supposed to act. You see me, even though we not even know if the superintendent is there, basically I watch over them to make sure they do the right thing. You see me? But as I say, people, leave in the comments and make me know when you think about this. I may move on to the next topic now. So I want to talk about Jamil. Now remember the other day, Jamil got some bops and basically reach out to version, them squash them beef and now him and version good. Them say we might get a song from them I we might even get a collaboration album. I'm a feel like that is a good move. Now Jamil was on the fix and a them did name nightly fix. You understand people? And basically Jamil I talk about certain things. I'm not gonna play none of the um the video. If you want to watch it, you can go up on Fidem page and watch it. But I just talk about certain things when I hear Jamil say and I definitely have to respect him. Now one of the things them where them ask him is if he is still a part of MVP. No, Jamila make everybody know say look, Ima Alka good, Ima Movada good, you understand? The man goes as far as for make some of the people them know say he knew Alkaline before even the whole MVP thing. You understand what I say? And I believe him say meet Alkaline from him all management team because he is being managed by a new set of persons right now. You understand what I say, people? So Jamil does make the people them know say Ima Movada good. Him are alkaline good because I know when you see the rumors that circulate on the internet that talk about them fall out and this and that. Now, them also ask him about Tommy Lee Sparta and Chronicler. Now, you know, say him did clash against them. You understand, people? And basically, him say him not depend that no more. You understand? He more a deal with unity and them thing there. So, I have to give Jamil thumbs up, people, because guess what? It's like the man make a whole 360, but at least me glad him did prove himself and make enough artists say, yo. Now, because me had a culture song, or even because some people class me as a culture artist, you can't come push me down, you understand? So, him definitely did prove himself with a whole heap of bad song, but Jamil right now seem like him done with all of them things, the people. And me, I wonder if we're going to ever see a chronicler featuring Jamil or a Jamil featuring chronicler. Now, me know some of you might all a shake on the head and I say, yo, what kind of foolish is I talk about but anything possible remember say him go against version in and them good and you know so don't be surprised if you say Jamil and Chronicler are link or even Tommy Lee Sparta but one question I have to ask you know, if him for link with any one of them there would that be violating MVP or you know him would have this Movado and Alkaline by doing something like that that are the thing you know because remember say Alkaline and Movado you know 
them two brothers they face to you now. When I say face to them, man, they're not big friend, you know. You understand? So, I don't know still, that would be a sticky one. I feel like with version, it did more easier for him to reach out to version because version never this alkaline and him never this Movada. So, I don't know people, <laughs> leave in the comments and make me know, yeah, man. That one is kind of rough still, but big up to Jamila, good artist. I'm like the growth, I'm like to see how you progress in the right direction, you see me? Definitely the definition of a true artist. But as I say, people, leave in the comments and make me know what you think about this. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Turn on the notification bell. Bless up on yourself and keep safe. I'm out.